want to highlight a handful of players who I'm kicking myself for not drafting in more fantasy basketball leagues this season. This is Nick Whalen from Rotowire. Donovan Mitchell returning first round value thus far. He has at least 31 points in five of his six games in a Cavs uniform. Of course, the absence of Darius Garland, who has not played since opening night, uh, that is helping Donovan Mitchell put up these monster numbers. But to me, it's really clear already that Donovan Mitchell is going to be a great fit with the Cavaliers. And maybe he's not putting up 31 every single night once Darius Garland is back, but I still think he's going to be able to maintain borderline elite production. DeJounte Murray. I was a little concerned, I'll admit it, about DeJounte Murray's fit in Atlanta next to Trey Young. You know, we got the classic narrative that they're going to both play off ball. They're both going to play on ball. It's going to work great. I was a little skeptical. Turns out it's working great so far. Both players thriving uh, from a statistical standpoint. DeJounte Murray's scoring has not really dipped at all compared to last season. His assists, his rebounds are down slightly, but that was expected after being by far the number one option with the San Antonio Spurs last season. Uh, more encouraging, though, he's averaging two steals per game for the second straight year. The defensive production is still very much there for DeJounte Murray. And the free throw percentage sitting up in the high 80s. Hopefully he can keep that up. He's been hovering around 79, 80% each of the last few seasons. Another player who, I swear, I tried to get him in as many drafts as I could. I just wasn't willing to pay the price more often than not. I think I only landed him in one league. Pascal Siakam of the Toronto Raptors. Off to career highs in points, rebounds, and assists. Thus far, shooting almost 40% from three-point range. He's got seven straight 20-point games to begin the season. Feels like he's on triple-double watch every single night. This is a Raptors team that has a ton of quality fantasy options. All five starters on any given night could be rostered uh, or even started in a ton of fantasy leagues. But Pascal Siakam, to me, has already established himself as the alpha dog of that group. Two more players who were available later in drafts and just didn't really end up with them in as many leagues as I hoped. Ivica Zubac with the LA Clippers. He's pretty easily inside the top 75 players thus far in eight or nine category leagues. Most importantly, he's playing close to 30 minutes per game. The last few years, that number's been somewhere in the you know, 18 to 24 range, up from 24 minutes per game last season. Uh, he's averaging 11.9 rebounds per game. That is far and away a career high. He's up to 2.9 blocks per game as well, and he's shooting 60% from the field with Zubac. Yeah, maybe he's not going to average 2.9 blocks per game the rest of the year. That That's probably pretty unlikely. And maybe those rebounding numbers come down as well, but he's shooting well below his career average at the free throw line, hovering around 60%. He's usually a much, much better free throw shooter, especially by center standards. So expect, expect that number to rise as the season goes along. Finally, we go to Chicago. Ayo Desunbu starting at point guard for the Chicago Bulls with no Lonzo Ball. You know, I, I stayed away from Lonzo in all my drafts. I want no part of that situation. But, you know, I targeted Alex Caruso late in some drafts, thinking that a lot of those minutes would trickle down to him. And it, to some degree, that's been true. But it's been Desumu, who's the much, much better fantasy option thus far. He's averaging over 30 minutes per game through these first two weeks. He's up over a steal per game. He's hitting 1.7 three-pointers per game and shooting 53% from the field. This was a guy who shot north of 50% from the floor as a rookie. So could be sustainable. Great, great field goal percentage for a guard. And with Zach Levine's knee acting up, he's already missing back-to-backs, could miss more time going forward. I think Ayo Desumu has major staying power this season.